Jamie Daphner here with Matt McMullen on Volcanoes TV. We're recapping the Boise and Salem Kaiser series. The Volcanoes drop it two to one to the Hawks after the Volcanoes went to Idaho and took two out of three from them in Boise. This time it's the Hawks coming to Volcano Stadium and spoiling the party. We were here in front of a season high 4,500 fans at Faith and Family Night. Great outing, just a disappointing extra inning loss in game three. Let's take a look at this entire series. Game one started off on a very positive note. Yeah, what way to get the series started? 5-4 walk-off win. Um, Ronnie Jababi hits a walk-off home run in the bottom of the ninth inning. And the bullpen squatted the lead late, um, but it didn't matter. Um, Jababi turned the second pitch he saw. Um, made the first walk-off home run in his professional career. Um, the first walk-off um, for the Volcanoes this season. And also the first walk-off home run at Volcano Stadium in well over a year. Um, so a good start for the home state. Oh, it was very exciting. Jababi got the Gatorade shower. All the players and fans were cheering. What a great start. It extended the six-game winning streak. And then going into last night's game, it was the Hawks who just jumped all over the Volcanoes. It was an eight-run first inning, both teams at 4-4. But then throughout the game, it was two runs in each the second, third, and fourth innings for the Hawks. Nolan Riggs was the starter. And going in, you could have bet your house that Riggs was going to put up a solid performance. Came in with just one earned run, but allowed four earned runs that night. Eight in general in just two and a third innings. So that bumped the stats up a little bit. And also, it allowed the Hawks to take game two. They did muster a rally. Chris Shaw had a big three RBI double, but it was not enough as Vol the Volcanoes eventually fell 11 to eight. And that set up their overmatch tonight um, in the finale. It's a wild game tonight. We had four ties, four lead changes. Uh, the Volcanoes had to lead late. But Ryan Halstead, a tough game for him. He had a game tying home run in the, in the eighth, and a game, a go-ahead home run uh, for the Hawks in the ninth. Um, but the Volcanoes fought. Uh, Steven Duggar, a leadoff double on the bottom of the ninth. Uh, Miguel Gomez got him home. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out for Volcanoes and extras. Um, but you know, my player of the game tonight, Julio Pena. Uh, the fifth inning, a 14 pitch at bat, uh, gets a two run double to at the time take the lead. With two to four tonight, but also a walk. Um, really nice game for him. Definitely the at bat of the season. That shows why the Volcanoes have so much fight in their offense. Also, someone providing that offense recently has been Jose Vizcaino Jr. on an absolute tear. He had his third home run of the season tonight. He was the reigning Northwest League player of the week coming into this week, but it's Friday already. He might win that award again. We caught up with him and his manager after the game. What's been cooking for you the last two weeks? Yeah, I mean, just kind of getting that bats. Um, coming in, you know, you always want to get off to a hot start, and I didn't right away. Um, but, uh, you know, after a few games, just putting good swings on it, I've been getting hits. Just kind of sticking to the simple approach, which is just attack the fastball and kind of hit it the other way. That's what I'm best at. So, um, yeah, I've just been, you know, feeling good at the plate. And I think it definitely helps having the guys around me, like Shaw, Gomez, um, that are big RBI threats. I, I get good pitches to hit because I don't want to face those guys. So, um, yeah, I've just been swinging it well and, and getting a few knocks here and there. I think, you know, a lot of our games that we have won and have lost have been, you know, defense and pitching, but obviously we're scoring tons of runs. Um, you know, in Vancouver we had, I don't know, over 55 hits, which always um, is a good kind of confidence booster. Everyone's contributing, even guys off the bench. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we're definitely firing on all cylinders. Um, you know, we had a rough one tonight, but like I, like you said earlier, we, you know, we fought back, and I feel like we're never really out of it with this team, even if we're down a few runs late. Um, everyone's gonna, you know, battle and have to get at bats. And you know, we, today Pena had like a 15 pitch at bat, and that just kind of shows the characteristics of, characteristics of this offense. So, actually, uh, well, those are always the toughest to swallow. This seemed like was right into the game. It was a very exciting game, nonetheless. What can you take out of this night of Well, I think it's just a, a, you know, a lot of uh, learning tools tonight. I think a big part is that we didn't pull away in the middle of the game when we had our chances to, off the bullpen especially, and give ourselves a little breathing room. That way we're not one, uh, one mistake away from a tie ball game or, or, or losing the lead. And, uh, you know, give them credit. They put a couple good swings on uh, pitches there. Halstead's uh, you know, been great for us. He's going to be great for us going forward. We're going to throw him right back out in the eighth, ninth inning again with the one run lead again. And he's going to lock it down. But uh, just today, he tried to hit the outside corner left over the middle end. And, you know, they're going to put a good swing on it. But 
you know, really that game could have been put away earlier in the game, give ourselves a little more breathing room. You know, when there's uh, blood in the water, you got to go for the kill. You can't let, the, let them just kind of hang around. It's, it doesn't matter. Everybody's good, and uh, you give them a chance to hang around, they'll take advantage of it. And uh, you'll end up losing games late. When you lose games late, it deflates you a little bit. Early in the year, everybody's trying to find their role and uh, trying to figure out where they fit in, how this is going to whole work, how are they going to get off to a good start. Uh, so many people trying to figure out where they fit into this club, newly drafted guys, guys from extended spring, guys coming down from Augusta, San Jose. So uh, as we've meshed together, I think uh, guys have done a good job uh, banding together and then trying to fight for one cause, and that's for a, a big W and trying to turn himself into a winning ball player. Um, you know, good fight. Showed a lot of character coming back and tying the game. We could have easily just folded and, and packed it after nine, but we forced extra innings. Um, we kept putting the pressure on them the whole game. And that's signs of a good team whenever uh, the game's never over, regardless of score, including last night. The game could have been ugly. Instead, we made it a game. And uh, that's, that's good characteristics of good teams, is finding a way, once you get down, to find your way back into the game, give yourself a chance to win it late. And uh, you know, just tonight, last night, didn't work out. For Matt McMullen, I'm Jamie Daffner. Thank you for watching Volcanoes TV.